Social Security is a viable system. Uh, I, I think that uh, we have seen that over time, especially now, uh, many, many seniors, about a third of all seniors who retire, uh, have Social Security benefits representing most of what they earn in retirement. So that safety net, in many cases, is all that people have. So it's become even more important than it was when originally designed. Uh, the Republicans several years ago tried to uh, reform so-called uh, Social Security and, and take the trust fund and have it invested in the stock market. Well, thank God the Democrats, myself included, fought against that and prevented Social Security from going on the, the stock market because in 2007, when, when the market plunged, we would have lost a great deal of the reserves and, uh, and trust funds that are existing for future uh, beneficiaries. I think that the promise of Social Security from one generation to another is a, is a sacred trust. As we're working, we're contributing funds for, for our parents and grandparents as they contributed, uh, and that uh, that really is a, a, a promise across generations. And, and I think that while we do need to make certain tweaks in this system, I think the core uh, design of Social Security works. It doesn't add to the, the deficit. Uh, we, we do have to recognize that when Social Security was established in 1935, the average life expectancy for, for women was uh, 65, for men it was 62, I believe. And nowadays, for, for kids born today, uh, you know, the ages are, I think, 87 and 91 for, for women. So obviously, with, you know, with the uh, life expectancy expanding for beneficiaries, we're going to have to make some changes there. But uh, I think those are small changes over a long period of time will keep Social Security's promise to future generations.